I remember the first time I came in this room and looked around and was like, wow, this is really cool. Let's go ahead and use this. <laughs> so this will give you a new chill spot, so to speak. Um, and while we're chilling here, let's talk about something. So let's talk about some exo points because uh, they're very, very important. And if you don't know anything about it, and you're not grinding for them or I'm sorry, if you're not playing to get them, um, you're really missing out on a lot of stuff that can help you level quickly or easy, <laughs> a little more easily. Uh, weapons and loot is, are wonderful and great, but with your exo points, you can level stats that will actually affect how well your weapons are going to do. So no matter how good or how poor your weapons are, your exo suit is actually going to increase your survivability and your output in general. Exo suit customization. Um, you get here just by basically just clicking here over an exosuit. And these are the four slots they have available. You have a mind perk available. You have arms perk, chest perk, and legs perk. When you first come in here, if you haven't set anything up like this yet, you're actually going to find these over here in the exo points. When you first pull it up, it's going to look like this. If you click on mind, you'll see uh, a few different boxes. Now, if you haven't played before, you're going to see them all basically locked out. It's going to be the same thing for all the other slots as well, too. This is because you actually unlock them as you progress and level. So you basically just want to keep leveling yourself. And as things become available, then you come in here and purchase them. You can have up to one item equipped at a time in all four slots. When you first unlock a perk, it's gonna be a rank one. You actually have the ability to purchase additional ranks to level it using more exo points, raising it from a level one up to a level five. Now to accumulate exo points, what you're gonna to wanna to do is come over here to this board and pick crystal hunt dungeons. The crystal hunt dungeons are the ones that are in blue. They look like pyramids. And when you pick them, keep this in mind, Underworld, this is actually the easiest realm. And then the difficulty increases more and more all the way up to Lava Forge. The biggest difference that I've noticed is uh, the terrain. So like one might be lava, one might be poison. Um, the mobs in each area are a little bit different. Bats versus spiders and scorpions and whatnot. But they are different. And that's basically it. Just keep running dungeons, keep leveling up your uh, exo points, and just keep putting them in until you acquire all the ones that you want.